everyone, and welcome to LOL. I'm Brianna Gare. And I'm Lauren O'Neill. So here we are, the end of another school year. Some of us will be graduating and never looking back, and some youngsters will be carrying on their schooling in hopes of becoming our future leaders, such as the circle of life. A group of drama students took their show on the road to wow high schoolers with their dramatic performances. There's about three groups that we've chosen um, to go around to all the local uh, high schools in the Toronto area, the art high schools. I guess we feel a lot of art uh, universities don't have this program or don't look at it as intensely as we do and so we thought it'd be really nice to share how cool our program is. The students have taken a fundamental concept that anyone can lift anyone and turned it into a beautiful display of storytelling and emotion. The story of this boy whose family life isn't that great. When he goes into this magical world and you're not sure if it's a dream or reality, the only dialogue we use is from the parents and so that comes back into the dream and how that affects your dreams, right, or nightmares. have been taking movement and contact classes, which properly teach them how to lift and support one another. It's not really so much lifting and, and uh, it being lifted, but as it is, it's for, yeah, transfer weights. So we can start with simple stuff like... It's like if we both apply 50-50. There's like a counterbalance, counterbalance, gradually applying so that it's going from being 50-50 weight to 40-60, 80-20, and then add all my weight on him or vice versa. Performers draw their inspiration from anything from fairy tales to Greek mythology and even take a few tips from Cirque du Soleil. It looks like Cirque du Soleil, but it's less flexible and less amazing. But we use um, the transferring of our, our bodies to lift, and you can basically, I could lift someone who's 6'2 and weighs 300 pounds, and it wouldn't bother me because we'd be sharing our weight. creating short performances to take on the road to Toronto area high schools as a recruiting drive. They hope to show the students the finer points of a renowned drama program. A lot of the forms of theatre we know are, are classic or contemporary and um, this is very physical based. <laughs> And I think bringing it, like when I was in high school, I had no idea what contact improv was. Or, I mean, I, I knew about three different types of forms of theater. And then I came here and it was like, oh my God, there's so many more, right? So I think by bringing this to the, to the high school students, they can uh, decide where they would like to go because the options are endless. Well, like we said, it is the end of the school year, and this is the season finale of LOL. Yeah, we won't be back. We are graduating, but we've had a lot of fun, and we thank you so much for tuning in. And we'd love to give a big shout-out to our one fan who commented, who thinks Canadian girls are hot. Yeah! So, thank you. And Sorry. our four other fans, Mr. and Mrs. Gare. And Mr. and Mrs. O'Neill. Hi, Mom. <laughs> All right, so tune back in in September, and thank you so much. I'm Brianna Gare. I'm Lauren O'Neill. Have a great summer.